Hello, yes, we want our community back. And the reason I choose these words is quite simple, really. This is our community. It's not for sale or barter to the third world or anyone else. This community belongs to the people who've been born and bred here, paid into the system, go back generations. It belongs to them, not the third world. And I also have chosen uh, those words because there's a bit of a battle cry within them and also injustice and I'll get to that now my poor beloved elderly mother she's 85 now she's not well and I regularly attend the doctor's surgery in Norris Green with her I take it over she's very very frail and ill now so she's at the doctor's surgery sometimes several days a week uh, normally of a morning there's two surgeries one of a morning one of an afternoon it's normally of a morning uh, and while I've been in the doctor's surgery, waiting for my mother, I've noticed a familiar pattern. And about half a dozen or so, sometimes five, sometimes four, but as a rule, about half a dozen or so visible third worlders are using the doctor's surgery in Liverpool, uh, in Norwich Green, to be seen, or if it's not them, the children they have with them. So i done a bit of arithmetic and I thought, half a dozen, five days a week, by so many weeks a year, by how many surgeries are there in England, forget Scotland and Wales, they're just on an England re uh, count. And I found that there's 8,000 surgeries just in England alone. So times that by 8,000. So there's half a dozen a day, by five days a week, times so many weeks a year, by times uh, 8,000 surgeries. And that ran into the millions and millions of people. That's right across England, just England, not Scotland and Wales. And I thought, that is horrendous, right? Well, let's just get back to Norris Green here, my community where I live. So those using the doctor's surgery on a daily basis, that means local people are having to wait longer, may not get the doctor of their choice, and many, many other uh, inconveniences they will suffer and that's now we extend it to schools where parents are not getting their children in a school of choice because they compete with the migrant baby boom then there's dentists then there's the housing uh, who goes the front who goes the back of the queue they're competing again with invaders to their community from the third world they now have to compete with them so this is our community why should we have to be doing what the people of this community now have to do? Why should they compete with the third world for services and resources that are rightfully theirs? They were born in this community. They go back generations like I do, right? This community is theirs. It's not for sale or barter to the third world or anyone else. But anyway, so that's going to be the new rallying cry now. And these forgotten, beleaguered, white working class communities. We want our community back. And by no means is this an attack on any ethnic minorities, migrants that have settled here in Norris Green or anywhere else. I'm not attacking them. I understand why they're here. But it still changes nothing. The people that were born and bred here, the people that have paid into the system, the people that built this community, the people that are this community, they're the ones that should become a face and they're not. They're now the forgotten, beleaguered, white working class, but they're going to have a voice soon, right? Trust me, they are. They're going to have a voice soon. Okay, thank you.